What up, dude bros? I'm Frank. This is a video review of the Zuru X-Shot Flying Bug Attack Pistol. The pistol itself is a spring-powered, horizontally clip-fed blaster similar to like the Nerf Battle Scout, giving a 10-round capacity to a fairly small pistol, which is an interesting idea. And included with the pistol is this motorized little bug shooter thing. You push the button, it spins, and then twirls the little insect with this little helicopter blade up in the air, like shooting clay with a shotgun. So it's a pretty interesting take on target practice. Let's get into the review. Included with this combo set, two pistols, two 10 round clips, 24 darts, one bug launcher, and three flying bugs. The bug launcher unit is battery powered and requires four AA alkaline batteries. To get to those, loosen the two Phillips screws, insert four AA alkaline batteries, replace the battery cover, and you're good to go. The combo includes two pistols and two clips, but they are the same, so I'll just go over one. External overview, starting up with the front. Of course, this is not a Nerf brand blaster, it's a Zuru X-Shot blaster, so no front attachment point for your barrel extensions. Above that, we have the front iron sight. It corresponds with two rear iron sights for three points of contact for that super awesome precision. That is mostly a joke. This blaster is clip-fed, and I am correct in saying clip. It's not a magazine, it is in fact a clip. It's inserted in the blaster right now, as you can see, but to get it out, you can pull. The included clip holds 10 rounds. It's very simple to load. You can just front load like that. There are little arrows all over this clip to make sure you know which way you're supposed to feed it. And feeding it in is similar to the Nerf Battle Scout. You can just plop it in. However, there is no obstacle on the back end to let you know that you've put it in far enough, giggity goo. So you can just keep putting it all the way through and accidentally skip over the first few darts. So if I were in a battle and I'm trying to reload quickly and you put in the clip, you can shove it in too far and then you're skipping over all of those darts. Unlike a magazine where you put it in, you can't put a magazine in too far. It stops when it's in far enough, but the clip you have to kind of put more attention into lining up your first dart so you don't skip out on the first few. So you slide in just the tip and you're ready to go. The clip moves on the prime action and to prime you pull back on this gray handle like that. The power required to prime is pretty normal and it's a smooth prime, pretty solid. Down to the trigger, the trigger pull is what I would consider pretty normal. This blaster does not have slam fire. Down to the grip, which I complain about all the time, but this grip is pretty comfortable. So nothing to write home about, but it works and there's really no complaints. It should work fine for small people and fully grown adults. Those are the externals of the pistol. It's pretty simple, but it's also pretty unique that it has a clip integrated. 10 rounds for a pistol is a pretty high capacity pistol. But that's the overview of the pistol. Now on to the bug launcher. So this is a little bug launcher. It's pretty cool. It launches these little things. The green part that you can see is what kind of propels it up into the air and allows you to shoot it in the air. Then the blue part is the actual bug, and that's supposed to be the target. Realistically, the entire thing becomes a target when it's up in the air. It works with a very simple propeller, so when you get this going, it flies up and, you know, just like a helicopter, well, not just like a helicopter, but kind of, it generates lift and it goes up, up, and away. And the combo kit I'm reviewing includes three of these little bugs. These are the projectiles or the targets that launch up into the air. And it comes with one launcher. I have tried a little bit to, like, throw these. Um, I have not been able to launch these without the launcher so don't break your launcher. The bug launcher unit itself, again, is battery powered. You install your four AA alkaline batteries in the little battery tray under here. Once those are installed, you can push down on this little red button and that gets your pinion gear spinning super fast. At the bottom of each little bug, there's this little locking like circle thing that matches with this little rotating pinion gear. So you just place it on top and when you push the button, you're spinning the bug. You spin for a moment to get up to speed and then when you release from the button, that's when the bug is launched, like so. It's a pretty cool looking device, but it's very simple. You just have a little momentary switch that activates your motor and spins to launch these things. I'm a little bit surprised at the simplicity, however. There is no locking mechanism to, to force you to have one of these guys on here before you're allowed to push the trigger. If this was a Hasbro Nerf product, they'd have locks all over the place preventing kids from doing this. And naturally I had to touch it a bunch and it does sting a little bit. Um, it is important that you don't put foreign objects in there and also obviously don't put your siblings like fingers or anything like human on that. It can irritate and maybe like hurt. And on the topic of locks, there's nothing to prevent you from walking around with this and using this as a blaster instead of that. So that might sting a little bit to get hit by one of these though. So I would not recommend it. <laughs> Hopefully nobody sues Zuru over this because you could totally walk up to somebody and like grind into their skin. Um, again, Nerf would never do this. Zuru is not an American company, so maybe outside of America, people don't sue each other for no reason. This is why we can't have nice things, guys. Stop suing everybody. <laughs> Moving on, this guy is angled and configured and even advertised to be used on the floor. So you set it down, then you can use your foot to stomp on the little red pedal. That frees up both of your hands to hold the blaster and prime. So you can play this completely one player. You don't need to yell at somebody, pull, like they're launching clay pigeons if you've ever shot clay with a shotgun. I haven't officially 
actually range tested the little bug component, but it shoots in my home about 25, 35 feet pretty easily. Many of the bugs actually go up and strike my ceilings. I have vaulted ceilings. If you have normal like nine or 10 foot ceilings, you might be bouncing off your ceilings no matter what. So I don't think maximum range is really the issue here. I think the product works pretty well. One complaint on this is this angle is fixed. So if you have a low ceiling or if you want to shoot it up into a really high portion of your home, I tried that, uh, you can't adjust this angle. Of course, you can just set a textbook or something underneath it to, to change the angle or under the back, but that feature is not built into it. So that's the overview of the bug launcher. Again, it's pretty simple. You just put on the bug, you hold down the button, you let go, and then it launches. I've launched this thing a few hundred times and it's still entertaining to watch them, these little bugs go through the air. <laughs> So that is the external overview of the bug launcher and the pistol. Let's see it out on the range. Starting with the included X-Shot rounds. A little bit faster now. Now shooting some nerfy leak darts. And lastly, some blue waffle head darts. Now to test out the bug launching system and to see if I can actually hit these little things. Picture in picture magic or instant replay or both to try to show you what's going on here. I am launching with my foot and then trying to shoot the little bugs out of the air. I'm loaded up with the included X-Shot ammo. Let's try to shoot some bugs. It's kind of an inconvenient place to have a hole in my wall, eh? Three shots, can I get it? Doubt it, but let's try. Oh, I got it. Yeah, take that bug. What's up, bro? <laughs> oh, I got it. Take that bug. Reload. Can I do it again? I don't know. I don't think I hit that one. Okay. I think I got it. <laughs> I don't do soccer, sorry, I missed. One more. Ah, that is so frustrating. It really is as annoying as like a gnat near your ear and you're trying to do this. Reloaded, three more bugs, let's try again. Oh yeah. That was a clean hit. Oh yeah. Now, now I'm getting into it. I'm gonna F these bugs up, man. <laughs> See, he cheated, he flew away. Okay. Three shots. Ah, this close. Whew. That is the usage demo. Using both the pistol and the bug launcher are tons of fun. This is a very fun little kit. Two changes I'd personally appreciate out of the bug launcher unit is first, as I already mentioned, having an adjustable angle so you can fit it to your environment. That'd be great. Again, putting a textbook under totally fixes it, but you know, you could just build in a little ratcheting system pretty easily. But number two, as you probably noticed in my video, it's hard to see when you actually strike this. It doesn't crumble, fall apart, or veer off course by that much. In slow motion, of course, you can see when a dart strikes the little bug because the trajectory of the bug changes in real time or like normal speed, it is a little bit 
challenging to see. So it'd be nice if this thing like crumbled or fell apart or had some other indication or somehow like you disabled it, you stopped it from flying. This little guy just keeps flying like, oh, hey, you, you shot me? I didn't even feel it, bro. Like this little cheater is just not even calling his hits. That's really what's going on here. It's not even a real thing and it's cheating. What does Nerf come to? <laughs> Other than the bugs cheating and the angle gripe, which I already mentioned, I had a blast using this little bug thing. Enough of the launcher, now onto the dart launcher or the pistol. Operating the pistol was pretty smooth. They sent over four models instead of just this one, and I was experiencing issues with one of them not loading in the clip correctly as you're firing. That seemed to be a lemon or a defective product. The other three worked just fine, so no jams or malfunctions. And it's easy to blast off multiple rounds very quickly. As you can see, when the bug is up, you don't want to have a slow, like a bolt action or anything. You just want to start spraying the bug to hit it. And with this pistol, that's very easy to do, so pretty quick rate of fire, and 10 round capacity out of the pistol is pretty high. And it also shoots pretty fast. I put this pistol up on my chronograph and I achieved an average velocity of 84 feet per second with the included X-Shot darts, and with Nerf Elite darts, 78 FPS. Both of these chrono averages are quite a bit above that 70 FPS par, which means it shoots noticeably harder than other Nerf blasters on the market. You can see that the darts are shooting a little bit quick, which is generally a really good thing. The included ammo is just recolored X-Shot ammo, and it's just as inaccurate as the other X-Shot ammo. I prefer waffle head darts, and this blaster does work with the X-Shot ammo, obviously, Nerf Elite darts, and Waffle Head darts. So if you don't like these and you don't like Nerf Elite darts, you can use Waffle Head darts and actually hit whatever you're aiming at. So that cross-compatibility is awesome. That's the firing analysis of the pistol, now to my personal opinion on both the pistol and the launcher. Overall, I'm very happy with both of these products. They're clearly not designed for human-on-human -human Nerf. You're supposed to be shooting the targets, and the targets even are included. It's very simple, easy to operate. You set it on the ground, you use your foot so you don't need somebody else. You can use both hands and put all of your attention into the blaster and just, you know, just flick it with your toe. So it's not cumbersome or annoying, like you're hitting go and then you run to your shooting position like on a timer or something. It, it, it works really easily. Other than the targets not being as reactive as I would personally like, I would like it if the helicopter would like fall apart or the bug would fly off or something else would happen because you don't have that hit marker. And in real time, it's hard to tell when you hit it. So it's not as gratifying as like knocking a bug out of the air. We all know that feel when there's a gnat around your ear and you're like whoosh and you get it on the first hit. It feels good because you know that that's, it's gone. Three flying insects are included with the kit I'm reviewing right now, but Zuru also sells these separate so if you lose or destroy these and want replacements, you don't have to buy the whole kit. You can buy just a little flying bugs. So opinion on the launcher, definitely positive. Personal opinion on the pistol component is positive, and that might surprise you. I generally hate these side-loading clips, these proprietary loading systems that are just kind of odd. And my opinion on that still holds. It's, it's strange, and if I was shooting at other people, I wouldn't personally pick this blaster, but it does what it's supposed to do. And it's a really fun plinker, or to shoot at targets. And the targets are included, so, you know, that's kind of implied. Having a 10-round capacity pistol is pretty awesome. Now, I wouldn't say this is really a traditional pistol or something that you could really classify as a pistol as far as a secondary or something you want to slide into a holster. With this very large clip system, it would just be too much of a burden to carry this in a holster. But as a modified primary or a plinker or a target shooter, it's loads of fun. 10 round capacity is really high for a pistol instead of like a six round strong arm or disruptor. Having a detachable loading mechanism allows you to reload faster if you happen to have extra clips. I'm not sure if Zuru sells these separately. I know they sell the little flying bugs separately if you lose or destroy these, but I'm not sure if they sell extra Vs if you want to have like a load out of like 20 of them. But the clip feeds smoothly and it doesn't pop out of the blaster like the Battle Scout, which I find annoying. It stays in there until you pull. The ergonomics and feel of the pistol body itself are comfortable and it shoots pretty hard. So certainly no reason not to buy this pistol if you're drawn to this type of platform. I haven't seen one like this with a detachable clip system out of a pistol. So personal opinion on the pistol, positive. But to emphasize a key point of my opinion, if I had to go into a humans versus humans or humans versus zombie or humans versus anything other than a flying target, this would not be my pistol of choice. As I already mentioned, having a clip fed pistol is just a little irregular. It's irregular for a reason. It's not very practical. So to calibrate that opinion, this is a target shooting opinion because this is a target shooting kit. And as a target shooting kit, it does a very good job. And I had a lot of fun shooting it. But hopefully I've laid out all of the information for you to make that purchase decision for yourself. If you're interested in purchasing this kit, I'll have a buy link in the description box below. That's it for this video review. Thanks so much for watching, bros, and as always, stay tactical.